Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we will see how we can create payment term templates and discount rate index in lease accounting. So there are four types of payment term templates which we can create here is like property lease component rent, equipment lease component rent, property lease renewal, equipment lease renewal. And for creating, we need to follow the steps like we need to go for the task, manage lease accounting configuration and there we need to select search payment template. And after that, we need to select business unit and payment template name and duplicate it and rename the payment template name. While duplicating and renaming, one should keep in mind that we need to erase the entire name that defaults with the timestamp. Then give the name and ensure there is a no space after last letter. If there is a space after last letter, one will face issue while importing leases using FBDI template. So this should be keep in mind. Then give distribution. In distribution, we need to specify payable stability, non-compliance expense, gain or loss, foreign exchange gain or loss, right of use adjustment loss, accrued liability, payables clearing. And we need to specify this for both primary and secondary ledger. After that, at the end, we need to activate this payment term template. Now there is one more concept of discount rate index, which is very useful for the calculation of present value and for that we need to go for task manage lease accounting configuration and there we need to select search discount rate and create a new discount rate index there so this is the steps which we need to follow so what we will do we will go to the instance and we will create one payment term template and discount rate index there so moving to the instance now Now, after logging to the instance, go to settings and action, setup and maintenance. Give setup here as financials and search for the task. Manage lease accounting configuration. In scope, you should make sure that your business unit is coming here. Fine. After that, go to manage lease accounting configuration. Here, and select give search payment template. And business unit is already coming here as in scope. We have given this business unit. So it is defaulting from there and then give a payment template name like we are going to create property lease component rent here. So I'm searching with that name. So here it is property lease component rent, which we need to select and duplicate it. Now you need to rename and as we have discussed already we need to remove this timestamp and we should make sure that there is no space at the end fine so after giving the name to the payment template we need to give the distribution here so here we can see as we have duplicated already some of the accounts or distribution I can say is coming for both primary and secondary ledger. So those distribution which are not coming here like foreign gain or loss, gain or loss and right of use adjustment loss. I'm going to just add these three for both primary and secondary, secondary ledger here. So click on this add icon to add. So first for primary ledger, I'm going to add foreign gain and loss. This is forex gain and loss. We will get a code combination here. Count will be
say okay and we will add then we will add for primary ledger right of use adjustment loss and we'll give a code combination Then again, we will add for primary ledger account gain or loss and give code combination. And now we will add these three account name for the secondary ledger. Then we will go for height of use adjustment loss for secondary ledger. And the last. Gain or loss account name and code combination. So, after giving all the distribution, we need to just activate this first and save and close so this is how you can create your payment term template you can see here it is coming ah property lease component rate which we have created right now and it is activated as well so this is how you can create other three which we have discussed in the ppt like uh, equipment lease component rent properties lease renewal and equipment lease renewal as well so this is the process flow of the payment term creation now we will see how we can create a discount rate index here so for that we need to go to the same task in which we are already coming this is the manage lease accounting configuration page we are going to use this task for page only for discount rate so in select first we need to give search discount rate indexes and here our business unit is all already coming just click on this add icon to create new give your business unit again here give name to your index like i'm going to give discount rate index okay. years so this is my index name now i will give the effective from date will be the today's date i'm giving then 
after that just click on this add icon under index rate and add a date rate like today's date i'm giving i'm giving rate as 5 and is it final yes and after giving this just save and close so this is how easily you can create a discount rate index as well so this is all for payment term template and discount rate index creation in lease accounting so this is all for today thank you